One of the coolest things about Superbase is that it has a built-in authentication system. This allows you to send emails like confirm sign up, invite user, magic links, change email address and reset password, all without having to build your own backend. Let's see how that works in practice. So I'm gonna to go to my Superbase project and I'll navigate to authentication. To demonstrate this workflow, I'm just gonna invite a new user to this project. So I'm just gonna use my personal email here. And there you go, the email was sent and we can double check that on Gmail. So it's here. This is really nice, right? Like I didn't have to build any integration myself or configure anything. It's ready for me the entire workflow of inviting a user. The problem starts when you need to move from development to production. The first thing you need to do is to change the email address. As you can see here, the email is being sent by no reply at mail.app.superbase.io. You want something that reflects your brand, the name of your app, and that users can identify. So it's really important for brand recognition that you change that to your actual domain. The second problem is around rate limiting. Recently, Superbase had to make some changes and Paul, the CEO of Superbase, announced that they decreased the number of emails that you can send to, two, to four emails per hour. He goes and talks about the fact that the default email system they provide is only for testing purposes and it's not intended for production use. Uh, and this links to the production checklist that describes this workflow a little bit more. So what we need here is to use a custom SMTP server that won't have those limitations. And we created an entire Superbase integration that is built into Resend, so you can do that without having to copy and paste every single parameter. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna navigate to domains first, just to show you that here I have a domain that was verified and this is gonna be important because that's the domain I wanna send emails from. So once I have this verified, I can go to settings and I can look for integrations. Now I can start a Superbase integration. The first thing that this will do is redirect you back to your Superbase dashboard so you can authorize API access. I can choose the different organizations that I have. In this case, I'm gonna authorize the personal organization. And when I'm back, I'll be able to choose exactly which project from Superbase I wanna integrate with. So I have two projects, I'm gonna pick this one. And now I can create an API key which will serve as the password for this SMTP server. And we're gonna create an API key that's isolated only to this domain. So now that I have this API key, it's just a matter of finalizing these details. I can change the sender name to be, you know, my app. I can change the sender email. And as you can see, the host, the port, the user, the password, this was already configured for me. So I just have to click on configure SMTP integration now. And once this is done, I'll start to be able to send emails using my own domain. So let's navigate to the Superbase dashboard here to confirm the integration. You can see that the enable custom SMTP settings has been toggled and all that information that we, we had before is now populated here. So let's see how it works now. Let's go back to authentication. I'll use that same email so let's invite this user again and now let's go back oops let's go back to our email there we have it now we have this email that was sent using my domain, this is, has already been signed with SPF and DKIM. 
now I'm not limited by the rate limit imposed by default, which is four emails per hour. Uh, in fact, on recent, we have by default a soft limit of 10 emails per second, and we can increase that depending on your needs. And what's really nice about this is that now you, you won't have that problem of like trying to find if an email was sent or not, if it bounced or not, because every single email that is sent for resend is available here. So let's go to resend.com again, and we can navigate to emails, and we can see exactly what happened with this email that we just sent. The timestamp, when it was sent, when it was delivered, the HTML content, the source code of that email even. And if things, you know, if there's any problem, if someone is like complaining that maybe their email didn't arrive, now you know exactly what happened with it. Uh, as an example here, I can maybe invite a domain that doesn't exist. And now if I try to uh, add this email, like invite this email that doesn't exist, I can see that this email bounced. So I have full visibility into this workflow and it's really, really powerful. I hope you like this integration. Let us know if you need any more help with it and see you next time.